What's up everybody? It's that time of the year. We're going back for Cabrera Snapper Revenge. We got the crew tonight. We got the whole gang here. We got fresh lobsters in the live well. We're going to try to redeem ourselves. We got some last year, we had fun, but we got a slicker tonight. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, we're gonna see if we can't get a big tug. We got the big hooks ready. We got the pen 70s ready. Corey came along, he's hanging down like a monkey. We'll see you out there. Enjoy the ride. You guys, we are at the spot, the sun is going down, setting. We are gonna try to catch the monster snapper. Everyone's fired up, we're excited, we've been waiting all year to do this again. I've been dreaming about it at night. I don't know if their dreams are nightmares, nightmares. but tonight's the night, so we got the crew here tonight. It's time to drop the bait. There's a law enforcement boat over there. It looks like FWC stopping everybody, checking. Probably checking for a legal sized lobster. You gotta make sure they're legal. It's a nice big lobster, so here we go. It's going down right now, look for the giant compare snapper. Not many fish that I really care to catch too much myself. Like turn the handle on, you know, I enjoy driving the boat most of the time for people. But I would love to catch a giant cabrera. Something about them intrigues me. <laughs> Harnessed up in the black men. Brand new rod, 70 pen. We just hit bottom. Not some. You gotta be careful, if you lean too far forward, you ain't paying attention, you go right in the water. You now let me fall over. <laughs> I got you, babe. You better grab on I got you, babe. Well, I got a big bite. <laughs> These cabarrus come up there, the lobsters start kicking, start going boom, 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 boom. All of a sudder, All of a sudden, whoo, hammer and crush it. We were supposed to work out and train for these, and we did not do that. We started eating cookies and brownies about two weeks ago. No shake weight? We didn't use the shake weight. I saw it on South Park, though. Look at him pumping. Look at him kicking his tail. Our Nick might get smoked as well. You want to smoke your lobster? It's about to happen. I've never smoked a lobster. Boiled <laughs> lobster. lobster. Cajun. Old Bay lobster. Lobster on the <laughs> Lobster on the Barbie. Lobster ravioli. Lobster chowder. Mike's? Not yet. Are you using lobster? Yeah. Getting a long way, huh? 36 miles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so FWC's up here just checking everything. Making sure everyone's abiding by the rules, and I think they're gonna check our lobsters, make sure they're all legal. So I'll do that, and uh, we'll see what happens. We eat six or seven for dinner, so there should be around 24 left. It looks like there's like 20, give or take one. There's, 20, <laughs> there's, there's 21. There's 24. There's two on the bottom. Yeah. All right. I guess we have two on the hooks too. Well, you can crank them in whenever you're done. All right. Thank you. You, you can crank them. They're, they are legal. I promise. We try. <laughs> Thank you. They're stopping by just checking everybody, making sure everybody's following the rules. So, trying to keep the fisheries balanced and all that. We're gonna check our bait, folks. Man, he's missing like three. He's missing three legs, four legs. Right here, right here. Got him. It was a bite. See? Got him. Look at that. One that... little cheap little bite there. Those are cabara little... teeth. Little, little teeth went in. It. They're still alive. One tooth mark right there. Yeah, another teeth mark there. So broke the antenna. Probably a cheap little bite. Broke the antenna. Probably a small fish, but it's a good sign at least. Fresh lobster. My heart is pounding. Still alive. So they might have got a couple legs off. Right there. Uh, so I think they're just down there chasing. They might have grabbed a leg off, but he's still good. Oh, he's eating it. He's eating it. He's running with it. He's running with it. There you go, baby. Get him. Come on, 
come up. All day, come on. He's still there, baby. He's coming. That's <laughs> all you got. Him. All the way down. Come on. Like you might have to just back up to our crank when he's on top. A full drag. Oh, you want faster or slower? Slow. Just don't run him over. Turn to the right. That's back up on him. Good. He's on top. It's on top. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Get ready, dog. Get ready, dog. Get ready, dog. Bro, you size that guy. Look where that hook's at. Flip that guy over. Look where that hook's at. <laughs> no, we thought it was big guys. He's foul hooks. Oh, that's a damn monster, but that's a perfect. Oh, he went too a, deep. Don't go a, too deep on the gills. That's a perfect eating uh, size, guys, right there. Oh, oh, he crushed me, man. You good? I'm good now. Look at that, right in the skin there. We thought he was twice as big. That's what happens when you foul hook a fish. <laughs> Beauty. Doggy. There we go. Herb cool. eater right there. We got two, we lost a big one. Successful night though. You know, you just don't come out here and catch them right away. And second night this season, that we're on the board though. John got a nice one. I got a smaller one, but perfect eater, so excited about that. And hopefully we'll get back out here another night or two this year. But a lot of these guys never seen a Cabrera before, so that was our first one. Gotta love that, and uh, we'll see you back at Bud Murray's. Welcome back to the kitchen. We got this Cabrera snapper here. This is the smaller one. Uh, Jamaican Mike really wanted that bigger one when he saw it. His eyes lit up. I said, you know what, Mike, you take it. You'll enjoy it. This will be plenty to feed all of us here. We're gonna do them whole on the grill. I got some lemon juice right here. I mix it in with a little bit of water right here, and Mike, I just take his advice. He said, you know, Nick, rinse them out there, especially the throat area and the gills and the inside of them, the stomach cavity, that'll help get some of the fishiness out of there. And it does, you know, kind of cook a little bit. So we're gonna do that real quick. Then we're gonna score them and cut them a little bit. We're gonna season them and on the grill he goes. So we're gonna hit up with a bit of olive oil. And after that, we're gonna hit it with some Monterey seafood seasoning. See how it turns out. Oh, don't put that on him. Yeah, I gotta put her on him so he can swim away. Well, on the grill, I'm swimming on the grill. I'm swimming on the grill. I ate the wrong lobster. Daddy put me on the grill. We're gonna flip this thing over. We're gonna do the same thing to this side as we just did right here. So let's roll them on over here. And we're trying to do it without making too much of a mess. We're just cutting through here just like this. You get it that way, that meat comes right off there. And the skin will be good to eat too if you like to eat the skin. We're gonna eat some of this here tonight, and then tomorrow we're gonna bring it down to the marina and give a bunch to the guys down there at the marina and let them eat it. Just gonna share it, because this will feed probably seven or eight people at least. We haven't had Cabrera snapper since last year, so it's been a while. Cover him on up there, get it into that meat there as well that we got opened up. Get on the skin there too, it won't stick as bad. I'm uh, trying to open up all these little grooves in there, just like that, and then we can really get it on there. Look at that chunk of meat. I mean, all these chunks are gonna come out and it should be pretty good, I think. I mean, these things eat lobsters, they eat crabs. They do eat fish too, they eat shrimp and stuff, but anything that eats a lobster or crab has to be good. And we're also gonna season up in here, all up in here. Let's get this one there a little bit. We're ready to roll. We're just gonna rub that around. As Mike would say, much respect, nice and proper. He's good to go. Let's go throw him on the grill. He's ready for the grill. I mean, check those teeth out right there. Them are some real chompers. But Frank said, Nick, we're missing something. I go, what's that, Frank? Oh, yeah, man. What goes like, in here in the Florida Keys? When you cook all the hogs and stuff, everybody puts an apple in their mouth. Well, down here in the Florida Keys, we apple up our little cabarrus. There he is. <laughs> He's ready to roll. Look at that. All right, we'll see you on the grill. We got some ribs on there, too. We got more surf and turf coming up tonight. Look at that. Tell me that don't look good. I'm excited to try him. The perfect fit. That wasn't a big giant Cabrera, you know? We did have that one bigger one that was 30 pounds, but if I was gonna honestly eat one, this is the one I wanna eat here. I know Michael enjoyed that bigger one, but dude, we're in good now. We got surf and turf. We'll see you in a couple hours. The time has come. The ribs are off, you guys. They are ready, but check the Cabrera snapper out. Smoked Cabrera, got an apple in his mouth courtesy of Franker. Now the tricky part is to get him on the plate. 
because I don't have uh, my trays. They took the trays for the ribs. We're gonna try to get the majority of him on here without spilling too much juice. Look at that. Look. Pure white meat there. Somebody else wants some. Claire Bear, you want some? Claire came by, she smelt it. Somebody to get some. Hi Claire, you want some Cabrera snapper? All right, let's take this in and uh, let's get it set up on the dinner table and we're gonna get everybody's opinions. Yeah, that, beautiful. What? We've never done a snapper this big hole, let alone a Cabrera. The apple was the finishing touch. Good job, Frank. Good job, Frank Bear. Claire Bear. Do you want to try some fish? Yeah. All right, Sadie said she really wants to try fish. We got a little bit of everything tonight. Um, here we go. Let's see what everybody thinks. Yeah. All right, Sadie, you want to try fish? Now you have to tell us if you like it, okay? It's very snapper. It's snapper. It's snapper. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. Do you want more? Yeah. You do? Yeah. All right. As we know, Sadie pretty much eats anything, it seems like, at this point in her life. Mom. You want more? Mm. You do? Time to smash the like button. Mm. Who's the Guggen? Mm. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, all, let's all try this fish out and see what everybody else thinks. Look at that. Alright, here with my salad. Oh, you can good eat the skin too if you want. Some people love skin, some people don't. What do you think? I'm good. Super juicy. Not dried out at all. That's really tasty. Tastes like a snapper? Yeah. Did you try it, Franker? Dude, not yet, but you know, when we were kids, mm. grew that up in Stewart, we used to go to Lake Okeechobee, catch the specks and all that, little catfish, fry them whole. And what did Grandma always eat? Grandma always said, man, let me just have the fin. So we're going to see what Cabrera tastes like. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's crunchy. Look at that. That's disgusting. Look at that. Is that like a potato chip? That's my grandma right there. <laughs> I bet Mike would be proud of you. Frank has issues. Nothing but respect. I do want you want skin, out. Sarah, or just fish? No, I don't want skin. All right, no skin. Polkabar snapper on one of your lobsters. I can taste the lobster in the meat. There you go. <laughs> All right, one more bite for you guys. And the presentation this is really cool. This would be a great fish to do like if you're having a party and having a bunch of people. Because that honestly would feed eight or ten people right there. We got the seasoning all up in there. And we just, you know, you want to season that nice and nice and heavy because you got to open it all up there and the meat's real deep. Absolutely delicious. Really good. Claire Bear, you want to try a bite? Now this could be Claire's first Cabrera snapper. She's never had it before. So we're going to see what she thinks. She has a piece of snapper. <laughs> They're all going back for seconds, y'all. What do you think of the meat? It's really good, man. Better than the fish? Excellent. You know, it's not too smoked. It's it's uh, got a great flavor, good texture. Honestly, Cabrera's a really good fish to eat. I'm surprised. I've always and been scared of it. A lot of people get scared because Cabrera's, and a lot of those bigger groupers are known to get ciguatera poisoning sometimes, but you don't really hear much of it here in the Florida Keys or in the States. You know, in the Caribbean, you hear about it more, the Bahamas. And I believe that's because the reefs are healthier from what I understand. But perfect eating size fish. Meat's coming right off the bones there. You can see his rib bones in there. We're gonna pick them apart. Rob, how's it going? Pretty good. We're cleaning it up, figuring out who we're gonna give the rest of the meat to. Our toothy little buddy here. Now does the meat fall off the bone or not? Uh, it falls right off. Let's lift it up. We were gonna pick it off, figure out how to move it, but it comes Look right at off. That. that is awesome. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> Mr. Kubera. I like it. All right, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. If you want some merch, check out the website, stansfishing.com. Rob, it's pretty good.